All right, I'm going to call this a bizarre story. Errol Spence has been involved in another horrific car crash, this time with a 14-year-old in the 14-year-old's parents' car. As the well always star says, he has injured his leg. It says here, Errol Spence Jr. was involved in a serious car crash on Saturday night with suggestions that the other car involved in a collision was driven by a 14-year-old in his parents' car. It says here, Spence hurt his leg in the accident. However, the severity of the injuries are not yet confirmed. And of course, Spence has been saying, you know, thank God, he said, uh, you know, that he wasn't more seriously injured. He said, the guy ran a red light and messed his whole, you know, what up. Thank God I didn't have my kids on board. I'm not worried about no car. The guy hit me, messed my leg up. It's crazy. Yeah, this is, uh, and of course, there are pictures there of Errol Spence's totaled car. Crazy that he's been involved in another incident like this. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. Was Errol Spence not on the ball? He said he saw the guy coming, or the kid coming, and it was what it was. But you don't see the other fighters involved in as many you know, incidents as this in such a short space of time in terms of road traffic accidents. The first one, of course, that Spence was involved in, where he was very lucky to walk away with not only his health, but his life, was Errol Spence's fault because he was drink driving in that incident. In this incident here, as far as we know at the moment, he wasn't drink driving, and it appears at the moment to be this other person's fault. But Spence has spoken in the past about having flashbacks to that car crash. And sometimes these flashbacks happen at uh, inconvenient moments. Was Errol Spence maybe having a flashback? Did he freeze? When he saw this other car driving erratically, you know? You never know. And also, even in the ring, some people have speculated that uh, uh, when he fought, uh, God, what's the guy's name? Ugas. When he fought Ugas, there was a moment when he got, he got buzzed in the fight and he kind of froze. And then he fell back into the ropes. And some people are speculating that that might have even been a point where he was, he was having a flashback. Because again, car crashes and impacts, right? In boxing, there's the impact in your face of the punches. I'm not saying that this is the case, by the way. I'm just telling you that I've seen people in the comments section of my videos speculating that, you know, maybe he's getting hit at certain times and getting dazed in the ring. And he's at the moment, he's having a flashback. And that's why he kind of goes blank for a second. You know what I mean? Obviously, that can happen just from a punch without any flashbacks to car crashes. But it's just something to consider. So, yeah, hopefully Errol Spence is okay. But being involved in all these car accidents, it's obviously not a good thing, is it? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay, he's managed to recover far better than many of us expected. But it's still not a good thing. It's still putting wear and tear on the body. And if I had to pick between Errol Spence and Terence Crawford right now, even though Errol Spence has looked real good in his last fight, I would have to pick Terence Crawford. You know, I'd have to pick Terence Crawford. Crawford against Abanisi, and I haven't seen the full fight yet. I'm going to watch the full fight right after I've finished recording this video because I've got it up on Daily Motion. He flattened David Abanisian, <laughs> put the guy to sleep. I've seen the knockout. And Terence Crawford is really an underrated puncher. We all know that the guy's been stopping people for years. But whenever you talk about the biggest punchers in the sport of boxing, Terence Crawford's name doesn't normally get brought up. You know, people will talk about Deontay Wilder. They'll talk about Artem Aterbiev. You know, at 168, they might talk about Canelo Alvarez, right? They'll talk about Gennady Golovkin. How many times do you hear people mention Terence Crawford? Well, he needs to be in that conversation. This guy is a major league puncher, and he's a finisher. He's a guy who, when he gets you hurt, he gets you out of there. So if they were to make the fight right now, I'm taking Terence Crawford, even though he's 35, whatever he is. Errol Spence is a few years younger. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. You know, Spence has been nothing short of extraordinary in his ability to come back from that horror car crash and all the injuries he sustained. And maybe he'll be even more extraordinary coming back from this. Hopefully his leg isn't too badly damaged. But um, yeah, I, I would go with it. And maybe 
the reason the fight didn't happen, the reason the deal didn't get done, is because Al Heyman and Errol Spence's people are not fully confident that their guy would beat Terence Crawford. I mean, it's hard to be fully confident because at the very least, it's a 50-50 fight. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's hard to be fully confident. But maybe they don't like the risk-reward of the situation, you know? And people talk about Terence Crawford being the B-side. Okay, he hasn't maybe done the numbers and all that kind of thing that Errol Spence has done, but he still packs out arenas in Omaha, doesn't he? He's still got a follow, and it's not like there's nobody turning up to his fights. So anyway, we'll talk about that in a different video for now. Let me know what you guys think about Errol Spence being involved in yet another road traffic accident. Hopefully he is okay and this will not affect his boxing career in any negative or too much of a negative way. Again, it's not going to be positive, but hopefully he doesn't go in there like uh, Cleveland Williams, you know, after he got shot by the police. Hopefully it's not like that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think.